You've experienced a breakup, and now you're wondering what to do. I've called, messaged, and even sent letters, but haven't received a single response. I can't reach them in any way, and I feel like I'm losing my mind. Don't panic, stay calm, I'm here for you. When starting a new relationship, we often lose faith in the idea of salvaging our past relationships. We believe in completely starting a fresh story, especially when the previous one didn't unfold as we hoped. People sometimes make the biggest mistake by continually seeking what went wrong or what didn't go right in their past relationships, even when they are aware of it, trying various things to solve the problem, such as constant phone calls, repeatedly checking Instagram profiles, or sending messages, is a common error. The key point to understand here is that what will bring this person back into your life ultimately is your personal vibration. When we look at the law of attraction from the perspective of quantum physics, we are all interconnected. So if you have once had a deep love connection, you can transition into another one with the same depth, even stronger. However, this will ascend to a higher vibrational level than before. You will approach the situation from a new perspective. I have worked on my own feelings because this vibration will recreate my reality and eventually attract the relationship with the deep love bond I desire into my life, you will say. Beliefs are among the most crucial factors that influence your vibrations and relationships. Three months have passed and still no call, no message. I don't know what to do. What you are actually saying here is, I don't believe anything will change, an expression of your belief. It indicates that you are still continuing with your old subconscious programs. Throughout the day, and ultimately, limited beliefs, doubts, fears, anxieties. But new beliefs also bring new opportunities to you. New beliefs attract a higher vibrational level into your life, and high vibrations provide opportunities for you to experience wonderful love. They infuse joy and freshness into your relationship. By freshness, I don't mean starting over, fixing things, or patching up. I'm talking about starting a completely new relationship based on new beliefs, shaped by new principles. Of course, good things from the old relationship can remain, but they will also be much better through your high vibrations and new high beliefs. As you continue to watch, you will realize that it contains information that is very important to you. Beliefs shape your thoughts and thoughts shape your emotional state. Therefore, if you believe something won't happen, you'll be proven right. If you believe you can do it, you'll also be proven right. I want to encourage you to leave your beliefs where your pupils start, where your touch begins, where sounds first enter, and let them stay there and the other five senses, surrender. Think about what illusionists do. These individuals are experts in manipulating human senses. What they essentially do is convince people who come with the desire to be deceived that the things they do, the seemingly magical events as part of the show, are actually happening. They saw the beautiful assistant girl with a saw but the girl comes out unharmed from the cabinet standing aside, and you know that no one entered it. What I'm trying to say is that our senses are limited and our beliefs are actually limited as well. But if I turn within myself and say, I trust who I am, I trust my intentions, I trust my dreams, I trust my goals, I amplify all these beliefs with a conviction beyond the five senses, turning them into my reality. You might say, 
Okay, I took a look at her social media. She seemed very happy. She posted a story with a guy, and there were other female friends around. They were having a good time, and so on. So, what kind of vibration do you expect after seeing all this? By the way, why are you stalking her? That's a separate issue. By channeling your energy into things happening in the external world that you cannot control at that moment, you end up constantly giving without adding anything to yourself, like a bottomless pit. The law of attraction is not about what is happening outside, but rather about what is happening inside you. We are talking about focusing on our inner selves, but there is something we need to know. When we see or hear something that displeases us, we must immediately withdraw our interest and attention from there. It may be challenging at first, but with practice, it becomes possible. We should redirect our energy to things that will make us more productive and positively impact our position in life. Our energy should be directed toward that reality we create in our imaginations, strengthening our beliefs and our affirmations. This is the place where things will improve for us and it will become a better place. This is where we gain our strength and free ourselves from thoughts that waste our energy. Withdraw and save yourself from wasting your thoughts. A common situation, they left, and I haven't heard anything from them for a few months. What will happen, I don't know. Here again, there is a tendency to rely on the information that the external world brings to us. We don't know what will happen, no one does, but there is something we know from our experiences, and that's the exciting part. Our beliefs create our reality. Withdraw from the thought of not knowing what will happen. Look, write this down somewhere. You don't need to know how it will happen. You don't need to know how the two of you will come back together or in what way it will happen. A friend of mine, whose relationship ended a few years ago, had completely moved on and their communication had dwindled. After about 15 months of separation, the ex-partner reached out, they started communicating again, grew closer, and now they are married with a one-year-old child, leading a happy family life. This is just one example and there are undoubtedly many more. There are people who, after being apart for three, five years, or even longer, cross paths again in life and connect. So set aside the hows, the whys, and the details. You don't even need to know how it will happen. Repeat to yourself, I don't need to know how it will happen. You play an active role in creating your reality during this process, working in harmony with the vast universe. You don't need to know how it will unfold. But I just want them back. That's the only thing on my mind. No, stop trying to win them back. As you try to win someone back, you are signaling that they need to move away from you. Chasing after them only leaves you exhausted when you let go of this and shift your focus to yourself and your own vibration, when you start strengthening your identity, changing your beliefs, altering your subconscious beliefs, what you desire happens effortlessly. And there is no formulated explanation for this. That's why they use phrases like attract miracles into your life. Because when looked at, it seems like a miracle. By labeling something as a miracle, it continues to be a miracle for us, that's true. But when we look back at something that has happened, we can say it was actually like a miracle. It was a chance for me. Maybe we can't explain a relationship mathematically. But truly, 
After putting effort, focusing on your own life, and somehow life goes on and the other side takes a step forward. In fact, focusing on yourself doesn't mean giving up on imagination, losing your belief, abandoning affirmations, ignoring quantum-based relationships, or dismissing techniques. Always keep your belief and energy high. When the time is right and the energies find their way, the results will manifest in your life suddenly, like a light bulb turning on. Another important aspect is the mentality of neediness. The thought of, I need to win them back. Don't even use those words. Ultimately, when we think about it, we came into this world alone, and when the time comes, we will leave alone. At the end of the day, you exist with the experiences you've personally encountered. The only thing you need is the power of your personal existence and the connection of this power with the source of energy. If you can keep this awareness high, you can attract everything into your life. You can do everything. You can create everything. You can become the person you want to be. You can have it all. I firmly believe in this. This process also involves a crucial point that should not be overlooked. We need to cut the connection and trust the process. There might be no communication for weeks and your messages may not have received a response. But trust the process. Believe that it will happen and just have faith. You don't know how it will happen or the details and you don't know the exact timing, but you know it will happen. You know that you will embrace the beauty the universe will send you. You know that you will receive the love you absolutely deserve. There's no need to hope, wish, ask, or even desire. Just wait for it to come from the universe because it's already there, a part of your life. Lastly, you are responsible for everything that enters and leaves your life. So you can also manifest the reconciliation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. You are truly appreciated.